This is the man who's engineered some of the biggest recent breakthroughs in the technology of artificial limbs. After a mountaineering accident, Hugh Herr went through a double amputation and decided to dedicate his life's work to finding a better solution for people who need prosthetics. He believes the answer is in bionics. I define bionics as design structures, either from synthetics or biologic materials, that intimately uh, connect or are implanted inside the body, that at least normalize human physiological function and from time to time actually extend human capability. These limbs can do things that no other commercially available prosthetics can. The foot ankle that I'm wearing uh, is the first bionic um, ankle that uh, is powered, that, that emulates lost muscle function. All other commercial foot ankle devices are human powered, like a bicycle is human powered, where only your energy causes the bicycle to move. This technology has now been spun out from MIT into a startup called Bionics. The company has already fitted 1,300 patients with these limbs, 50% of them wounded veterans. A new partnership with Autobach, the world's largest prosthetics maker, will mean patients across Western Europe can access this technology. The biomechatronics lab is also developing exoskeletons, equipment that could augment human physical performance beyond what nature intended, enhancing performance for athletes and soldiers, helping the weak or the elderly walk, and making extreme sports even more thrilling. I think in the very near future, you'll walk down the streets of New York or Boston, and it'll be common to see people wearing bionics. Bionics is about self-improvement. It's about a journey of what humanity can be when humanity blends and integrates with uh, good, good technology, good design.